In this video, I'll analyze an ILS approach with an AHARS failure in a Garmin G1000 flight deck. This approach was performed in an FTD at Galvin Flying Services in Seattle, Washington. So you can see our pilot has lost his AHARS prior to intercepting the localizer and is now relying on backup flight instruments. He had made a right turn to intercept on radar vectors using his mag compass. As you can see, he's flown through the localizer slightly and is now left of course. He is also nearing the final approach fix and glide slope intercept. This is a very busy time in a stressful situation. Let's slow things down and think this through step by step. First off, our pilot does have a few things going his way. Airspeed is nailed and aircraft configuration is very stable at this point. He's coming up on the final approach fix and glide slope intercept. This is where all your training on flying by the numbers comes in handy. You want to have a good understanding of how your power settings and aircraft configuration equate to descent rate and airspeed. So in this case, he's setting his power, his pitch, and his flaps to give him roughly a 500 foot per minute descent at 90 knots. Now remember, these change aircraft to aircraft and vary with configurations such as gear and flaps, so know them well for your airplane. Flying by the numbers greatly reduces your workload in a stressful situation such as this. With everything going on at the final approach fix, our pilot has flown through his localizer and is now just right of course. You can see he's bringing his range in on this inset map and the compass rose is up on the inset options. This is a good thing to use for reference on your heading and spatial awareness in this situation. It is a little easier to look at than a mag compass swinging around, but I must stress, though it is for reference only, and ensure your range is set appropriately. As the needle comes back to center, the pilot must make the proper adjustments to hold the course. These adjustments should be small turns, five degrees or less, for less than a second. Level the wings, see what the aircraft is doing, see what the needle is doing, and then continue to make small adjustments. Remember, five degrees or less. The consequences of chasing a sensitive needle with increased bank angle here are serious. Without your primary attitude indicator and relying on your scan to your backup attitude indicator, it is incredibly easy to put yourself into an unusual attitude. We know it at such a low altitude of 1,500 feet at this point, your odds of recovery before you hit the ground are very, very slim. To summarize, if you're right or left of course, small turns, level the wings, assess, and make the adjustments as necessary. Just stay calm in this situation. Our pilot's about a thousand feet above minimums here and doing his normal callouts. He's got a real good grasp on his localizer now and has been just a touch high on the glide slope the entire way down. That's probably due to a little bit of fixation on that localizer. You really want to keep your scan moving the entire way. It's incredibly important to practice this in your normal routines and normal flights. Since our pilot's proficient at flying by the numbers, getting that glide slope back is fairly easy for him. He just has to make a small power adjustment. Usually an, in an inch of manifold pressure or less will do the trick. Just like bank angle on the localizer, keep those power adjustments small. Jockeying the throttle back and forth will generally create an unstable approach. As we pass through about 800 feet, our pilot breaks out and has the approach lights in sight. He must maintain concentration though and keep flying that stable approach. Any miscue on the power or configuration of the aircraft can put him back in the clouds in a potentially dangerous situation. Ensure all landing checklists are complete and keep things as normal as possible. Give yourself a big pat on the back when you're off the runway. This pilot did a great job, minus a couple small miscues, but given the situation, I think everything worked out pretty well. For more information on Evolution Aviators, please see our website at www.flyevolution.com. For more information on Galvin Flying Services and their three G1000 FTDs, see www.galvinflying.com. Evolution Aviators, confidence in your ability, safety in your aircraft.